All right, jumping right in today. I really don't have much of a plan, actually. Today is going to be a chill, hopefully relaxing ride. I'm going to go out to Olumpali State Park, which is an interesting state park out here with a lot of historic buildings. And then after that, I'm going to try to find this strange old factory building and get some footage of it if I can. So, kind of just wander around today. Not much of a plan. Hopefully get some interesting footage. There it is, behind those trees. Now we can't go up there, unfortunately, I don't think, because let's see, yeah, the gates are closed. It's all gated off. But, this is unrestricted airspace, according to my map. And this was a Birkenstock warehouse. You can see the Birkenstock sign is still there. And on our way back, I'm going to try to get some good footage to really show how interesting that building is. This is where I first flew my drone. First drone flight ever right here. Uh, yeah, right here. Very careful, very careful. Miwakolum Pali Indians uh, were here for thousands of years. It was a very wealthy tribe uh, because proximity to the bay and the ocean. Um, and uh, so it was a, a major trading uh, situation. We then have the start of the missions coming in with San Francisco. Um, and then uh, Camilio Yanita, who was the last leader of the Olumpali uh, tribe, uh, was born in 1802. And then in 1837, he built an adobe house, which actually is the foundation for the house that's out there. So then we have gold being discovered. California becomes a state in 1850. Camilla Anita was worried that the land would be taken away after California became a state. So he sold uh, most of Rancho Olumpali to James Black, who was the local county tax assessor. And then start, they started to be rented in the 60s. Um, and that was by uh, one of the occupants was uh, the Grateful Dead, huh. actually, who lived out here right. for a year and rehearsed. Right. And some of their painting, uh, album covers have pictures from around here hmm. um, and then it was rented in 1967 to a local wealthy guy who created a commune called the, they called themselves the chosen family and there were about 40 that were living here and in the main house at the time and then it became a state park in 1977 mm -hmm. crows there are. I don't know if you can see it on the camera that well. 
There's tons of them. All right, nice little historical stop. But it is unbelievably hot now. And uh, yeah, I gotta get out of here. All right, so next stop is down the road. I'm gonna try to get some footage of this weird old warehouse, Birkenstock warehouse. Very lightly breaking. Just gotta make it onto that part. Yes. There it is. The old Birkenstock building. Honestly, I'm just gonna park right here. I don't think anyone's gonna come down and I'll be here if they do, so. Let's see what kind of footage we can get here. I'm gonna go that way so that I don't have to go through these trees. I'll go up and try to carefully get some footage. Thank you so much for watching today and coming along with me on my random little wandering around ride. Next week I have something planned. Hopefully it'll be interesting. It also has to do with strange buildings and historic sites as a lot of my videos do. But anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming along.